Health system strengthening uh, builds off of the, you know, right now we're thinking about it in terms of the building blocks, uh, a framework that the WHO has proposed and has uh, found wide acceptance in the international community now. Uh, topics such as health services delivery, wor uh, workforce, governance, IT. Uh, but the underlying uh, issue is that health systems work by definition is interdisciplinary. And uh, for a long time, we've been talking about health systems in a rather piecemeal manner where uh, different schools have been targeting different parts of, the, parts of the curriculum to different groups of people. And uh, what DGHI is trying to do differently is trying to create a, uh, a uniform platform where we bring in people from different backgrounds and different disciplines um, and, and create a curriculum that would be truly interdisciplinary. And you, to use a term that was uh, proposed in, in, the, in the conference that we recently had on health systems at Fuqua, it, it's not just interdisciplinary, but it would also be interscholastic. Um, and so that's, that's the objective that we are trying to pursue here. Part of the reason is that uh, health systems means very di different things to different groups of people. And for a long time, uh, we had several different frameworks that we had been thinking about. Um, and so, you know, people had been thinking about different types of functions or different types of actors or different types of objectives. But the health system is a system. It's, it's a sum of the whole. And it's very important for a master's level student to understand the different points of view of these different concepts. And also understand that, uh, you know, if you are somebody who only works in one part of it, then you're probably missing other parts because the systems framework helps us understand that there are feedback loops that affect different parts of the system. It's, it's something like thinking about it in a general equilibrium framework is that uh, you know, just because you've only worked on the health financing arm doesn't mean you've not affected other areas. Uh, introducing a health insurance system might have spillover effects on many different areas. And it's important to think of the system as a whole when you come up with policy prescriptions. So uh, our students will get a sense of what it means to work in that systems framework and also understand uh, what are the skill sets that they need to take to this. This is a cutting edge field. There's every passing month there's a lot more empirical evidence that's coming in that we can that helps understand these topics we measure and we are talking about here that we introduce. So for example, um, you know, performance bonuses for providers. Well, what is the effect of paying for processes versus paying for outcomes? Um, the debate's out there. What is the optimal level of payments for these incentive programs, whether it's pay for performance or not? How do you do it in developing countries? These are all things that are changing rapidly as we speak. And so hopefully uh, the course will be designed to be evolving over time so that in every semester as we go along, we'll be able to bring in more and more evidence and make it better, academically speaking. Institutionally speaking, what we want to do is make sure that the course is open to and attract students from various different schools and different departments. Um, Already we have a lot of interest from, from the business school and public policy and what we want to do is make sure that the course is developed and targeted at being a core course for people both in the MBA program as well as people in public policy who are interested in global health uh, issues.